Hey guys, what is going on? Today I wanted to show you how you can use the Lightning Network and how you can set that up so that you can use the Lightning Net testnet to send Bitcoin instantly and almost without any fees. And it's actually really cool. And first of all, if you don't know what Lightning Network is, there are plenty of good videos about it. But in short, it is a second layer solution to cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin that makes it possible to have payment channels between different parties so that you can send Bitcoin without actually posting every single small transaction on the blockchain. So one example would be to set up a payment channel between you and the coffee shop that you go to every single day. And when you create the channel, you specify how much Bitcoin you want the channel to be able to handle as a total. And then those Bitcoin are locked up. So you want to lock up one Bitcoin in the channel to your coffee shop. And you lock up those Bitcoin to your local coffee shop. And then every day you come in and you buy a coffee for, let's say, a hundredth of a Bitcoin. All of those transactions in that channel would be instant and they would be without any fees whatsoever. And what's cool about it is that those transactions are not registered on the blockchain. Every time you buy that cup of coffee, the limit of the channel will decrease. So you'll be able to buy 100 cups of coffee, very expensive cups of coffee, but you'll be able to buy 100 cups of coffee for your one Bitcoin before that channel has no balance left. And then the channel is closed and that transaction is then written to the blockchain. For all of those 100 small microtransactions that you did purchasing coffee, we only have two transactions on the blockchain, opening the channel and closing the channel. And now this has started to roll out so we can use some lightning software in order to try this out. And it is also available on the Bitcoin mainnet, but it is very unstable. So nobody really uh, recommends you using it because you might lose your funds. This is in uh, sort of very early stage, but it is very cool to see it working even in the testnet. So I thought we'll go through how we can use the SAP app. That sounds funny, SAP app to uh, use the Lightning Network on the testnet. And then you need to go to the SAP GitHub, which I'll link in the description as well, but it is uh, this URL up here. And this is basically the uh, one of the applications that you can use in order to access and use the Lightning Network. And in here, we'll scroll down to uh, the latest release. And here you can download it for whatever platform you have. So pick the one you want to download that and unzip it. Once you do have it downloaded, you'll install it. And on Mac, this is done uh, by opening up the DMG file and drawing the SAP application to our applications folder. It might be different on your operating system. Once that's done, we can go ahead and open up the SAP application. Once you have opened the SAP application up for the first time, you will see that it is uh, currently loading. And that can take quite a while. It is syncing to the blockchain at the moment. And this only happens the first time you start it up. So just wait for that to complete and I'll see you back here. Once that is done, you have your SAP application open and you can see the different menus that we have here. And we're gonna focus on two of them. The wallet, which holds our Bitcoin that we use to create our channels. And the contacts, which is a list of all the channels that we have open from this client. And first of all, we need to fund this wallet so we can create some payment channels. And for that, we need to use a faucet together with our address. So we're gonna take our address from here, and then we're going to go to a testnet faucet to get some test Bitcoins. And I use this one, Bitcoin testnet sandbox, and you can see the URL here. And in here, you can paste your public key and click the I'm not a robot, unless you are a robot, and then you hit give me some coins. And now it has sent a transaction with Bitcoin on this um, testnet. And you should get them as soon as they're confirmed in your SAP wallet. But it can take some time because the network needs to confirm the transaction. So once that's done, you'll get a notification from the SAP application. And I'll see you guys when that's done. All right, now I have received some funds in my wallet and I hope that you have too. 
And now we need to add some contacts. We need to add some content that's becoming our peers here and that we're going to create a channel to. And there are some peers that I would like to connect to for this example. And that is Jans. And Jans is a site that you can use to test the Lightning Network on the testnet that is for buying articles. So people post articles here just for purpose of demoing this. And if in order to continue reading all of these articles, you need to pay a very small amount of um, dollars and Bitcoin. And in order to do this, we uh, go to yalls.org and you choose an article and you click continue reading. And in here, you see the address of the peer. You click on this to copy it. And then we go back to SAP and we click on contacts and we hit add and we can search here but it won't find it so then we need to add it manually by pasting it into here and click submit and that's going to load for a little while but once that's done you can click and you can exit this window and you can see that it has created a pending channel to uh, this peer here and this channel will be for 0. Uh, 0 0.1 Bitcoin. That's the standard amount. You can change that when you create it. But this is a transaction to the blockchain. So we need to wait for this transaction, this funding transaction, as it's called, to get confirmed. When that's done, this is going to change status. So wait until this has turned green. And you can check the status of your transaction by clicking details. If you're curious on how it's going. We can see here that it has zero confirmations. I will wait until that is done and uh, then we'll get back. And when your transaction has been approved, you will see that this channel is now online. And then we can go ahead and try to pay for this article, which we do by hitting pay here. And here we're going to put a payment request, which we'll get from yours. But this uh, might have expired, so we will refresh this and get a new address. We'll hit continue reading, get the payment request, we'll copy that and go back to SAP or we'll paste the request in. We're going to hit pay for that amount of Bitcoin and instantly it is sent. So now the money has gone through the payment channel and we can now go back to the site here and see if it's unlocked. And yeah, the article is unlocked as we can see, right? But uh, yeah, let's try this again so we can see it happening in real time. So we'll find another article here on yours. You can pick any one. Let's take this one and then we will make the windows so that we can see both of them. So we'll make another payment. We'll copy that address once again and we'll go back and hit pay over in SAP. Uh, let's see pay. And then we will paste that in once again, hit pay and an instant payment is sent. And as you can see, the article is unlocked. So this is a really cool way, maybe it's the future of Bitcoin, who knows, but it's a way for at least sending payments that are instant and without fees. And that was it for this video. I want to thank you for watching and if you have any questions on Lightning Network or SAP or any future suggestions, please leave them in the comment section. And if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button and subscribe to catch my future videos. Once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.